Coach Prime does it again. He lands the number one cornerback in the country. Cormani McClain flips from Miami to Colorado. No surprise here. We talked about that, that that was a possibility. But what it means, and let's listen to Cormani for some of the reasons why he chose Coach Prime over the established relationships he had down in Miami after the bumper. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your podcast. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Kwamani McLean, the nation's number one cornerback for the second year in a row, has chosen to play for Coach Prime. This time at Colorado last year was Travis Hunter choosing Jackson State. He's also transferred to Colorado. This time it's Kwamani McLean, the number one one cornerback in the country, one of the highest, probably the highest rated defensive player in the country. And he was able to do it in a unique fashion. He was able to do it <clears throat> and make his announcement a million dollars worth of game with Wallow Gilly, a super popular podcast uh, in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, and, and let's, let's just take a, let's take a look at Cormani's 247 profile to show you what type of prospect this is. This is a high level prospect. This is a prospect that's supposed to come in and make an impact. This is a guy also who was enrolling early, according to his interview with Million Dollars Worth of Game. He'll enroll at Colorado early. He's the nation's number nine uh, prospect. 247 composite has him at 12. I think that's a little inflated because on three kind of hold him a little bit. But he's the nation's number nine prospect, third-ranked prospect in the country. I mean, in the state of Florida, and number one cornerback prospect. 6'2", so he's long. He's got the frame that I'll hopefully will be able to add some weight. He's only 165. He's still really skinny. I think if he plays at 185 throughout his career, 190, he'll have to get that weight up. But <clears throat> they were coming out them hard. Coming out them hard with Coach Prime kind of leading the way on this recruitment. Uh, the cornerbacks, it's it's always going to be it's always going to be a task at this point. It's starting to seem now that Coach Prime has established that any top rank or the toppest of top rank cornerbacks, he's gonna have first dibs on, especially if they come from Florida. Travis Hunter out of Georgia, but is originally from Florida. Cormani McLean, Lakeland, Florida. Coach Prime, Fort Myers, Florida. He's a cornerback, the greatest corner in the history of the game. The, you know, the Hall of Famer, College Football Hall of Famer, Pro Football Hall of Famer. So it looks like moving forward, especially if you have a top-ranked, highly-ranked cornerback out of the state of Florida, the first dibs go to Deion Sanders. <laughs> and I talked about in that previous video that everybody wouldn't want to go play at an HBCU, but now that he's in the Power Five, now that he's at Colorado, he's going to be able to cast a wider net, and he's going to get dudes. He, I mean, he got dudes at Jackson State. He's going to get dudes at Colorado. Coaching is a whole different thing and how he'll be able to adapt to a conference that had sixth ranked teams in it last year. But let's actually take a listen <clears throat> to Cormani on why he decided to go play for Coach Brian Beyonce. I'm Cormani McClain. Interview done by 247's uh, Coach Carl Reed. Let's listen to Cormani and his decision. Just picked the University of Colorado. Why was it important for you to pick Colorado and Coach Prime? Well, in my position, I play DB, so Coach Prime, he's the best DB. I just want to be in the same shoes, same predicament, go with Jack, everything. Get coached by the best DB and the best DB. But why not? Mom, as a parent, this recruiting process was very intensive for you guys. What made you comfortable with all the options that you have for your son settle on the University of Colorado? Um, I feel like God does things for a reason. So when Colorado came in, um, they kept it 100 with us the whole time. We didn't, I didn't have to second guess it. I felt like it was more real. Um, not saying no other people are real. I'm just saying the feeling that you have when you know it's the, the right feeling. Um, but yeah, we're ready. Guys, I'm going to ask this to both of you. There's always going to be a lot of rumors and a lot of haters that say this was about NIL money. That's why this decision was made. How would the both of you address that? Mom, I'll start with you. And I just want to start, even if it was about NIL money, who cares? Who cares? And I get why Carl Reed's asking it. But anybody hating at home, even if they were to throw that little garbage, little reasoning, who freaking cares? They're, those folks are lame. Those folks are 
you know, the old guard trying to be fun police. Like, no, who cares? If Colorado, even if they were the highest bidder, so what? It is America. Cormani has every right to get every single dollar that he deserves and every single dollar that he is worth. Let's continue this. Well, first of all, if it was about the money, we've been we could have signed anywhere. Come on, you know. So come on. The feeling, like I said, that I had when I when I was around these people, and they treated us like family. <clears throat> um, I just felt like we we supposed to we belong here. So that has nothing to do with it. Cormani. Um, I really don't got an impact on that. I just let people talk. Exactly. Internet go talk, say things, what they got to say. And yeah, it's more solid. Nothing, ain't nothing about that. Sure. Congratulations to Cormani, man. He's going to go play at uh, Colorado. And this is a team that needs a ton of help. Remember, this is a 1 in 11 football team. Now, granted, they're bringing in a ton of transfers and a ton of highly talented people, but this is still a 1 in 11 football team. I think Colorado needs to continue to get beef up front. Both trenches in offense and defensive trenches. They need to solidify that. Uh, they need to continue to yeah build that because Shador isn't the most mobile. He's more mobile than he used to be, but he isn't the most mobile. So they're going to continue to have to impact uh, that offensive line. They got some good skill players now. Travis, Cormani, some other guys that have been able to brought in. Dylan Edwards really showed off his speed. Uh, Adam Hopkins, I think is his name. But they're going to have to get some more beef and size up front if they want to be able to hang hang in there and push around some of those Pac-12 teams. But give me your thoughts in the comments. Cormani McClain chooses Deion Sanders and Coach Prime. The Colorado Buffs get them one. It looks like he's going to enroll early, which always, always, always benefits a prospect and get that thing going to where he's able to adjust to the college game sooner than later. Once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lightsey Jr. YouTube, Facebook, and wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.